Yeah, actually I was, at some point I was a little bit worried if we really going to make it. First experience for me racing uh, in couple and uh, also doing a marathon, I'm not the strongest one and uh, I'm actually fine with it and I take it exactly as an experience and try to learn as much as I can. Al fin y al cabo vas con, el, con la venda, ¿no? Cuando vas en competición, tú igual, ¿no? En cuántos sitios has estado y dices, hostia, no he visto nada. Eso es, una vez que te metes en el rollo este de competición, es muy complicado pues, conocer eh, las zonas en las que estás compitiendo, ¿no? En cambio, pues, eh, esta carrera para nosotros va a ser como un punto y aparte, una, más una aventura que una competición. Son muchos los años que nos conocemos, muchas carreras que hemos conocido. Con Oliver, sí, sí. él viene del Mountain Bay, yo soy más carretero, pero nos conocemos, ¿qué diría yo? Pues cuando tendría 6, 7 añitos. Eh, yo había corrido a un nivel en carretera, todavía he corrido siempre a un nivel de Mountain Bike y creo que ha llegado el momento un poco de, de quizás por mi culpa, de levantar un poco el pie ¿no? por la edad y de venir a estas carreras a disfrutar y de ver pues, lo que en verdad son estas carreras para la gran mayoría del público. ¿Os han vacunado allí en Andorra o qué? Sí. ¿Con cuál? Con la AstraZeneca. Bueno, ahí. Ah, 187. Bueno, aguanta ahí un poco. No me acabo de acostumbrar. Tienes ahí papel. Hispanic, all Hispanic. Hoy está allá, no. Va, a little English. Molto duro esto. Molto duro, esto. Hay que quitar la presión. Mira, eh. Anche el terreno no, es. Eh... Es muy seco, pero seco? dentro de sí. dentro la mus. Pues muy hinchada, muy duro. No, no, infarto. Inside the wheel. Además, a ver, 65. Sí, 65. 70 no. No, 70 no. Muy bien. Today is the first stage and uh, I'm gonna ride the first time together with Ariane and uh, yeah it's gonna be pretty interesting because during this race we're gonna figure out how actually are the level so how much I can keep up with her and uh, also yeah I'm gonna start learning a, a bit about uh, how to race a, a marathon like a stage race so how to get nutrition how much to drink and uh, how much I'm, I'm actually like more used to short race and more sprinting instead this race I need to yeah like keep focusing and don't sprint too much but uh, keep the level always a bit the same and uh, yeah Ariane is gonna take care of me and not to... I will make sure she doesn't kill herself <laughs> yeah. in the first little climb. <laughs> yeah exactly something like that. <laughs> Mountain biking is an individual sport, um, so most of the time we actually ride on ourselves. We are completely in our zone, and uh, in, if you ride with a team, you really have to cooperate. It's, it's uh, teamwork, you must cross the finish line together. There's so much happening in, in the head, and for me it's always fascinating to uh, figure this out, this teamwork. I really look forward to, to see her grow in this race and yeah, hopefully become a bit more uh, marathonisty. <laughs> <laughs> Parece fácil, pero la calor lo complica. Divertida, pero me llevas ya con el ganchillo, ¿eh? Y yo voy a rueda. Sí, claro. A tirar no me llevas, pirata. Solo para grabarte con la rueda. Mira.
the, the middle of the stage is always a little bit where we yeah. where we have a little struggle. I always take but a little uh, bit of rest <laughs> in between. Like it's too much to do everything, so I do the start to finish, yes. uh, and in the middle, like I just. I definitely came here more as an experience. Was this is my first stage race, and I'm super happy to have done it. Like I really like it actually. Uh, definitely don't have the training you have right now and uh, so I see that for you it's like sometimes really difficult to think more like at the enjoying the like just the stage I mean we're still going like good I think like uh, it's not that we are going so slow or whatever but still you're like really focused that if you're not first like you really want to push to get first. Keep pedaling, keep pedaling, good, good, good. Super! I go! Super! Yes! Very good! Keep going! Focus, focus! Okay, next one! You can do that one, come on! Yeah, I'm a, I'm a pure racer and uh, obviously the first days, you know, I try to really race very very hard and uh, help her as much as possible but it's um, I had to turn that off a little bit uh, I realized it gives her too much pressure if I try to you know be always there and help a lot um, so it's it's a very fine balance I think between helping but not lowering the confidence uh, of my partner and it's always kind of navigating around that and uh, yeah so every day I learned a little bit more how to support you better so you can actually bring out the best of yourself and um, it's uh, it's very because we are so different very different backgrounds and also very different in strength I'm a steady pace all the way, like a diesel engine and uh, <laughs> more like a sprinter and um, to balance that is quite a challenge, but it's what makes this race and racing in a pair so, so interesting. You really, yeah, you really have to get to know each other. You really have to always think of this other person next to you. I can't just think of myself and just put my head down and go. Pues yo personalmente lo noto muchísimo. La diferencia está de, de, de correr profesionales y tener que estar, pues eso, de la, del avión al autobús, del autobús al hotel, a la carrera, otra vez al autobús, al hotel, eh, masaje, cuidarse, comer. Pues ahora un poco hacemos un poco de turismo deportivo. I mean, it's where everything has started, you know. I mean, you want to discover a beautiful area like Andalusia, and um, it's, it's nice to, to do that on a bike, eh? and with someone on the side sharing it, those moments. Yeah, sure. yeah. And you have great moments where you're like really going, and it's all in the flow, and then you, today we had a mechanical, you know, oh, it's like, yeah. oh. So Rianne just got a puncture, go, 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 but go, go, go. I think she fixed it already, so. Let's go. <laughs> 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 when you have uh, your own race, you don't have so much to share. And then in the end, like you're really happy. You think like uh, all the moments of the race of uh, this nice downhill trail, and you think like, oh, that was really nice. But you actually did, don't have someone who saw you, or actually who saw all the race and shared everything. How much pain? How much fun? I mean. I think it's, uh, of course it's pain because we are riding every day so many kilometers uh, on our bikes with lots of meters uphill and 
and the weather as well. I mean, today was like, I think it was feeling like 40 degrees. So close to the finish line. Today was definitely too hot. Oh my God. And the fact is like, if you would not do so much effort, then you would not enjoy so much the, the, the other things. I mean, if you would just go for a downhill, I mean, it would be not so fun, I think, uh, if you climbed up first. Ahora empieza la bajadita, así que os dejo, porque soy de los que no se hace dos cosas a la vez. Hasta luego. Finalizando la tercera etapa. Aquí vamos con mi compitrueno, que va por ahí. How is the Spanish pasta, Virginia? It's not pasta. You cannot call it pasta. But I mean, if you finish the race and you're really angry, then you eat it, yeah. Avitallamiento estos, avitallamiento estos y avitallamiento estos. Vale. Y luego me tienen que dar vitones y llenar agua. Perfecto. Vamos a colocarlos ya. Y luego le pondremos el hielo fresquitos. Porque estamos en Córdoba, no estamos en el País Vasco. Y hay un aumento de temperaturas en esta zona que vamos. Que yo creo que lo van a agradecer un poquito de hielo ahí. Arriba nos flotipamos. Antes es start. better day by day so maybe we should make even a longer one maybe this was the warm-up and yeah, then yeah, <laughs> yeah like yeah, uh, no, I'm really feeling cool. like I'm getting in the mood of yeah, this type yeah. of race maybe before I was a bit uh, I don't know not scared but like a bit wondering how much would have been if I could have made it I don't know I did never did so many kilometers with yeah. so much effort in a week so I'm enjoying it I see actually I can keep up and every day exactly I feel a little bit better so I think your recovery is really good the afternoon sleeps definitely yeah. help I would say <laughs> siesta. Uh, siesta is very important <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually impressed and eh? you really recover well and yeah. <laughs> um, I think we'll make it to the finish line. Yeah. We will, of course we will. We what do you to. think? <laughs> <laughs> Y es ser muy bien, ahí tenemos a Cristina Cancelier y a Lian Luti, se dice han ido de menos a más durante toda la carrera que han sido cuartas. En la línea de meta. Felicidades también para ellos dos. Ahí tenemos por un tiempo de 2 horas 36, 55.